There's one thing clear about back to school this year. It's not going to be the same as last year. This design was inspired by a little rock that I did around Easter time when we were about a month into our shutdown in our state. And everybody loved it. And I was thinking it would be cute to do the same thing with some school supplies for back to school. So we're going to start out with um, just a pencil and this plastic eraser, which is amazing for uh, getting the pencil marks off if you need to erase and not leaving any trails. So I'm just going to take a pencil and outline our various school supplies. So we'll start with a pencil. All of the school supplies kind of have a um, cartoony look to them. So we're just going to start here with the pencil and then we'll move on to the crayon box and the glue and the ruler. I chose to do this design on a Santorini stone so I could gift it to a teacher, but you could also do individual stones with a school supply on each stone and it would be really cute. Now we're going to add some color. I'm going to take this sunbeam yellow and start with our pencil. It's also the same color I'm going to use on the crayon box because it's, it's just the right color of yellow. Next, we're going to take this sun-kissed peach color and put it on the wooden part of the pencil above the lead. Now we'll take a little bit of sterling silver paint and put it on that little metal piece at the top of the pencil by the eraser. And of course, a perfect match, we have pink eraser paint to use on our pencil eraser. Now we'll just take a little bit of black paint and fill in our pencil lead. I'm going to take a Kelly green paint, which is kind of a darker green, and outline the V shape on the crayon box. And you'll notice here that to achieve full coverage, I'm going to have to go back and add a second, possibly a third coat of paint to make this nice and solid. The paint slipped out of this in editing, but this is a crisp green color, and so it's a little bit lighter and brighter than the Kelly green, just to add a little bit of um, definition and change in the stripes. Here you can see what a difference a second coat makes on that Kelly Green paint. Next we're going to take flag red and color our first crayon. You may notice that I went back and I changed the number of crayons. I made them thicker. There was five before, and then I changed it to four. I straightened them up. I liked this look a little bit better. So first crayon will get filled in red, and I did go back and do a second coat over this to, to make it nice and solid. Now I'll take blue kazoo and add a little bit more color to our crayon box. And our next one will be bright yellow. And we'll round out our little rainbow with some purple paint.
Now we're going to come back to that same sunbeam yellow that we used on the pencil and we're going to fill in the box. Also I didn't really show you what brushes I'm using but I used a small fine line brush to get around the edges and then a little bit of a thicker one to fill in the larger spaces. Now we're going to take some metallic pearl white paint and fill in the back of our glue bottle. Next we're going to take some jack-o'-lantern orange and fill in the top of the glue bottle and this kind of gives it the signature look of like an Elmer's glue bottle. And I'm just going to take a pencil and line out a label and then take this blue bonnet paint and fill in a blue label on our glue bottle. Next, we're gonna take light mocha and fill in our ruler. Now we're gonna take two different Posca pens. One of them is a little bit more of a broader tipped marker for the larger school supplies. And then this other one is a uh, Posca Dew pen, which is much thinner. It's really good for writing um, for the smaller ones. And we're just going to take these pens and draw the outline of the mask on each of our school supplies. And then we'll come back and fill those in with white paint. And here comes the white paint. So you'll notice that going over some of these colors, it doesn't completely cover everything up with just the one coat. So I did go back and go over it. I let it dry and went over it again with a second and I think a third coat on the blue bottle because you'll see that one little spot where the blue is just popping through. Here you can see how that second coat really helps the mask be nice and solid. Now we're going to take this fine tip pasta paint pen, it's a black pen, and we are going to add one of the most important pieces of body language that exists now that we have to wear masks a lot of places we go, and that is to smile with your eyes. So we're going to make sure all of our little school supplies eyes are smiling. And we're going to take that same Posca pen and we're going to outline all of the major borders on our school supplies. And on the crayons, we're going to add that signature kind of swirl and then the straight lines on top and on bottom of it that makes those very recognizable. Now we're going to take this Sakura Pigma pen that's got a very fine tip, it's kind of like a paintbrush, it's great for fine line work. We're going to add some lines to our little silver piece of our pencil and then outlining all of our masks and all of the straps on our masks and then adding some definition to those masks by um, giving them some lines in the middle. Also going to add some fine lines on our glue cap and finish out with our ruler. We 
have to make sure to add our measurement lines on our ruler so that he looks nice and realistic. Now I'm just going to add a line here so that I can write straight. And what I did was search Pinterest for some school fonts and found one that I liked. And I'm just eyeballing it from the alphabet that I have on Pinterest and lining it out in pencil first. Now I'm going back with that fine-tipped Posca pen um, to cover up my pencil lines and trace over them. Now I'm just taking that plastic eraser to get rid of my line and any pencil marks that are still showing behind the Posca pen. We are done. I hope this tutorial inspired some ideas for you to go spread positivity as our students and educators head back to school in a really crazy time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Have a great day.